Hey guys, welcome to yet another installment of me preparing a Nigerian recipe with only five ingredients. The aim of this series of five ingredient recipes is to see if I can prepare these recipes that we normally use a lot of ingredients to prepare with only five ingredients and still get delicious results. Feel free to replace one of my five ingredients or two of my five ingredients with your own favorite ingredients to get your own five ingredients recipe. Prepare this recipe in your kitchen and send me a feedback. All right, let's go. Let me show you the chosen five ingredients for this Nigerian fried rice. Before we continue, have you bought the All Nigerian Recipes Cookbook? Have you? Have you? <laughs> Just look at the front matter alone, madre mia. I'm not going to waste your time talking about this cookbook. Just click on the link that pops up on the screen to see all the places where you can buy it. The first one is chicken. All the natural flavor that will go into this Nigerian fried rice will come from the chicken. For that, you need the very tasty hard chicken. That's hen or old layers. If you use the male chicken, that's rooster or cockerel or the one they call pollo in Spanish, it will not be tasted. The meal will be bland. Yeah. Then I'm going to use seasoning cubes. These seasoning cubes will enhance the natural taste of the chicken. I have mixed vegetables. Yeah. I regard these as one ingredient. Feel free to use only one vegetable. If I were using only one vegetable, I will go with carrot. You can see that I cut the carrots diagonally instead of in cubes. Yeah, it makes it look better in the meal. See this one, the pepper as well. So I have here peas, carrots, and sweet pepper. The quantity of mixed vegetables you use depends on how busy you want the fried rice to be. Here I'm using three cups of mixed vegetables, the same quantity of cups as the rice. I'm using three cups of rice and three cups of mixed vegetables you can add more or less at the end of this video you see the distribution of the vegetables to the rice and see if you like it if you do then go by that measurement that's what i normally use then curry powder nigerian fried rice that does not contain curry powder is that one nigerian fried rice mba no please know that this is not the hot and spicy indian curry this is the one i call nigerian curry yeah <laughs> it's not hot and spicy then you have onions i'm going with red onions you can go with white if you wish but this red onions has more flavor than white onions also you will see how i use it to add color to the rice as always i don't count the main ingredients so over here I have long grain parboiled rice. Yeah, white rice. This is the type of rice we use to cook in Nigeria. Then salt, also water. I don't count the main ingredients, salt and water. Let's go. I chop the onions like this. I set some of them aside for frying the rice. Add the onions. Add the seasoning cubes. This seasoning cubes is paste. It's a paste, so you can't really crush it like the dry ones. And by the way, this seasoning cube is beef flavored seasoning cubes because like i said in my five ingredient smoky jollof rice video beef flavored stock cubes pack more flavor than chicken flavored stock cubes or seasoning cubes or bouillon cubes that's why even though i'm cooking chicken i use beef flavored stock cubes for maximum flavor normally if i were preparing this with all the possible ingredients for cooking Nigerian fried rice. I would have added thyme as well, but you know, no thyme in this one. The heat is on. And I start steaming without adding water. They're trying to 
hot marinate it. <laughs> hot marinate. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything like that, but yeah. Normally, when you want to marinate something, you mix it with the seasonings. Put in the fridge to marinate for at least 30 minutes. Well, this one is hot marination. <laughs> mm. I usually do this till the red parts of the chicken turn pale, like these inside red parts turn pale. That's evidence that the seasoning has gone into the chicken. You may have noticed that I did not add salt. I don't add salt when cooking beef, chicken, because especially when I add seasoning cubes. The seasoning cubes contain salt. Also, salt hardens this chicken that is already hard, <laughs> seals the pores, preventing the seasoning, the onion and the seasoning cube from going into the chicken to season it well. I see that. It has turned pale. I hardly see any red color anymore. Then I add water to cover the chicken. And start cooking. While the chicken is cooking over there, I'll start boiling the water for pre-cooking my rice over here. I pre-cook my long grain parboiled rice to remove all the unnecessary starch in it. <laughs> when the water boils, pour in the rice. Stir. No need to rinse the rice. This rice is as clean as pasta. If you do not wash your spaghetti or macaroni, then there will be no need to wash this rice. But you know, if you doubt the sauce of your rice, you can rinse it before cooking. But yeah, no need for me to do that with this one. It's now seven minutes. If it resists, it's not okay. You don't want it cooked, but you don't want it resisting when you try to cut it. If you are using brown rice, so please, there's a different way to do it. Don't do it this way, please. Check out Nosa Girl TV's channel. She used brown rice to prepare her five ingredient smoky patty jollof rice and she pre-cooked the brown rice perfectly, perfectly. Check out her video. I'll link it here. Click that link, it's clickable and I'll link it in the comments as well, okay? If you want to use brown rice, check out her video. The next thing you do is to cool it down with cool water immediately. Yeah, as I was saying, there are some people that tell me that I'm pouring away the nutrients. <laughs> and I ask, which nutrients are in long grain parboiled rice? Nothing. <laughs> There's no nutrients. There are macronutrients here that I tell you. It's mostly starch. That The whole thing that I just poured away is 100% starch. Uh, there are macronutrients there, but not something that I will not replenish with a tiny piece of orange. An orange quarter is enough to replenish whatever micronutrients were in the one that I poured away. No. This is why you people wonder, why do you stay slim when you cook all these meals? First of all, I don't eat everything I cook on this channel. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat whenever my stomach grumbles. No, I don't. I do a lot of things, including pouring away the excess starch, unnecessary starch in white rice. <laughs> so yeah, whatever nutrients there, just eat one apple. You will have more than enough nutrients, okay? Or one piece of orange. So you leave it here to drain while we continue to wait for the chicken to get done. The chicken is done. I'm doing start and stop so that the, the stock will not fall out. Because if you do it cold turkey, the stock will pour out from the side. See? 
Next thing I will do is to grill it. So I'm going to transfer it to this. This is parchment paper or baking sheet. You can also deep fry it, but hey, I can't remember the last time I deep fried my chicken, man. If you have an oven, this is the best way to do that. No oil. So I set it to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit, and on grill, that is only the top heating. That's broil in the USA. So I put this as close to the grill as possible so that it will be thicker. I'm sure by now you're wondering where I'll get the oil that I'll use to fry the rice from. Look at chicken oil sitting pretty there. You don't need extra oil. So I'm going to scoop it. Doesn't matter if there's water in the one I scoop out because I'm going to put it in the freezer to cake. As you can see, you can see the oil at the top and then the chicken stock at the bottom. Putting it in this small bowl so that the cooling will happen quicker. You can put it in a large bowl if you wish. This is the view from the side. This one is oil. This one is chicken stock. This is what they mean when they tell you that oil and water do not mix. You see? That's physics. Then sieve this one. Just in case there are any bones. Also, you don't want these pieces of onions in there. They will make the fried rice mushy. Can you see the pieces of bones at the at the bottom? I don't want that. And then these ones, you don't want them either. Remember our rule, our physics rule of cooking one pot rice recipes. The water should be at the same level as the rice when you add the rice. Because I don't know if this water will be at the same level when I add the rice. I'll boil it a little bit <laughs> to reduce the quantity just to be sure. Yeah. I'd rather that I have less, I can top it up with water again than have more. Because if you have more, the rice will be overcooked. So I turn on the heat to highest. Then start cooking and let it boil down a bit before adding the rice. It has dried up a little bit. Add curry powder. I'll add about two tablespoons to start with. I have the opportunity to add more later when I'm frying it. Curry powder is what gives Nigerian fried rice its classic color. See? It's at the same level, the liquid is at the same level as the rice, or oh, about that. So I guess if I had added the rice then, the water would have been about here. Not good, the rice will be overcooked by the time that quantity of water dries up. but. If you pre-cook the rice correctly, the level of water, same level of water here, same level of liquid, once it dries, the rice will be perfectly done. Not stuck together, neither. So let me taste for salt. You see what I keep saying about salt? Do you know that this thing literally contains enough salt right now? But let me just add a little bit because I know that later we're going to add vegetables which will collect the salt. Cover and continue cooking. Keep an eye on the chicken, oh, you know, so it does not burn. It's dry. See? Dry and loose grains and well done it's well done let me show you see it's well done it's not the one that you'll be eating and it will be doing kakaraka in your mouth <coughs> see see how it melts there is still 
standalone greens. See? Perfect science of cooking one pot rice recipe. Then turn off the heat. The next thing to do is to transfer it to a cool container immediately. Because if you leave it in this hot pot, because this pot is very hot, it will continue to cook and stick together. You don't want that. See, no single burnt grain of rice. As long as you're watching it, as long as you're not on social media. Ah, scrolling aimlessly. <laughs> so about two tablespoons of curry powder, Nigerian curry powder. Give it this beautiful color. Look at that. Look at that. Have you liked this video yet? Have you? Have you? Eh? Look at the beautiful color I'm bringing to your screens. So we leave that to cool down. So you'll be stirring it from time to time and make sure it cools down before you start frying. Oh, 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 my chicken is burning. Oh, okay, still good. Chicken brown and golden. And bring it out because if you leave it in there, the rings of the oven is still very hot, so it will continue to dry off the chicken. You don't want that. Correct, Anunchi. <laughs> As my husband will say. See what the rice looks like after cooling down. Yori yori mwa. This is the chicken oil on top, you see? This is the chicken stock here. So, I need to start frying. In fact, before I start frying, let me show you something. I divided the mixed veggies into four parts. See? One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'll divide the onions into four parts as well. I have salt and curry powder in case I need more. It doesn't have to be four parts you're using. If you're using a bigger pan, you can fry all of them at once, really. The aim is to fry all the ingredients enough such that each grain of rice will get a good fry. So that it will end the name fried rice. If not, you're cooking what? Mixed rice. <laughs> so, I get some oil. Yeah. And then heat it up. See the oil. Oil from nowhere. <laughs> Actually, this is too much, but it's too much for one batch. But Let's keep it moving. Then get one quarter of the rice, like they say in Nigeria. Use eye and divide it. <laughs> oh. Did you see the glorious rice? No need to add curry powder. Curry powder is perfect. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Madre mia. Woo. Look at that. 
Leave it to fry very well, yeah? Because if you don't fry it very well, that's why the fried rice goes sour easily. Give it a few hours, it goes sour because you just mix it. <laughs> Do not prepare mixed rice. Because me and you will put leg in one trouser. <laughs> Me and you will put the leg in one trouser. Tell me which fried rice you eat in a five-star hotel that looks better than this one. Tell me. All those fried rice that they sell in eateries that they have scanty vegetables. <laughs> Hey, the vegetables will be avoiding each other. Taste for salt. Doesn't need salt. Perfect. Ooh. But if you taste for salt and you need salt, you add salt at this time and tell very well. You can also add curry powder at this time if you feel that it's pale. So this one is perfect, man. The texture. No, 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 no. So if you want to serve it now, she may calm down. Just lay it like that. When you bring it out, eh? Your guests. All your family members will speak in tongues. Woo! Check that out. Lolo. Lolo. I bet let me remove the chicken and continue what I'm cooking. <laughs> Transfer it to a pot. When you're happy that every single grain of rice has gotten a good fry. Then repeat the process. Mix it again. To even out the distribution of the vegetables. Ooh, madre mia! You see? Tasting time! Come and eat! Come and eat! Hmm, 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 hmm. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> this is yummy. Ah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Will you try it? Will you try it? When will you try it? <laughs> you better try it and give me a feedback, eh? This is the fourth one. Have you tried any one, any one of my five ingredient recipes? This series has proved to me that we use too many ingredients, unnecessary ingredients in our recipes. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I thought I'll miss liver in this because normally in the complete recipe I'll dice liver uh, just like the vegetables. but. I'm not even missing it. And to think that a lot of people do not like liver, so this is perfect. You don't need anything more. Bye bye. See you.